It looks like DJI's smallest drone is preparing for its biggest comeback. The air is buzzing quite literally with talk that the DJI Neo 2 will take flight this November 2025, marking the company's next big leap in the sub 250 gram category. For months, rumors have drifted through tech forums and leak trackers, hinting that DJI isn't just revamping the Neo, it's redefining what beginner drone really means. Now, with mounting evidence from internal dealer forecasts, FCC filings, and DJI's own predictable release rhythm, one question has reached fever pitch. Is the November launch really locked in? Back in early 2025, few imagined that the humble DJI Neo would evolve beyond its role as a selfie drone for casual flyers. Yet, here we are. Whispers from reliable sources are now converging on a fixed launch window between mid-November and early January 2026, with November 2025 being the most likely target. This fits neatly into DJY's historical product cycle, Typically, the company unveils new consumer drones within 110 to 115 days of their FCC registration. And since the Neo 2's filing surfaced on June 17, 2025, the timeline practically screams a November debut. Even the FCC embargo date of January 15, 2026, hints that DJI won't hold this one back into the new year. The DJI Neo 2 seems poised to shed its just-for-beginners reputation. This time around, it's shaping up as a Cine hoop style FPV mini-drone. Agile, duct-protected, and purpose-built for dynamic indoor shots. The leaks suggest that DJI has managed to keep the weight around 135 grams, ensuring it remains registration-free in most regions, while quietly packing in some serious upgrades under the hood. The new 1,660 mAh battery is expected to offer a welcome endurance boost, pushing flight time to roughly 20 to 25 minutes, a jump from the original's 18-minute limit. That may not sound groundbreaking, but in FPV flying, every extra minute counts. Coupled with level 5 wind resistance and 16 meters per second, top speed in sport mode, the Neo 2 should hold its own even in Gustier conditions. What will really stand out, though, is the imaging system. DJI is reportedly equipping it with a 1-slash-1.3-inch CMOS sensor, the same size seen in its higher-end mini line, capable of 4K at 60 frames per second recording, 10-bit HDR and D-Log M color profiles. For creators, that means a massive leap in flexibility during post-production, and far cleaner footage and tricky lighting. And then there's the magic sauce. 04 video transmission for up to 10 kilometers, active track 6.0, gesture and voice controls, and full motion controller compatibility. In other words, DJI isn't just upgrading specs, it's reimagining how effortless cinematic flying can feel. Even the double-layered propeller guards hint at a mindset shift. This is a drone built for tight spaces and creative risk, not fragile outdoor hovering. For all its rumored brilliance, the Neo 2 has some serious expectations to meet. The first Neo was adored for its simplicity. Toss it in the air, record, land, but quickly hit a ceiling for serious creators. What users are asking for this time is clear more freedom, more control, and more creative potential without losing the convenience that made the Neo so accessible. A micro SD slot is at the top of many wish lists, as internal storage alone won't cut it for high bitrate 4K footage. Users also hope DJI introduces manual exposure options, ND filter support, and possibly Quick Shots 2.0. Automated cinematic moves fine-tuned for short-form content creation. Another demand is better low-light performance. With the Neo 2's larger sensor, that wish might finally come true. 
For social media creators, the ability to capture clean footage indoors or during twilight shoots could be a game changer. And let's not ignore FPV enthusiasts. Many want the Neo 2 to bridge the gap between cinematic drones and racing quads. A fun, reliable Senna hoop that's fast enough to thrill, but stable enough for cinematic edits. If DJI nails that balance, the Neo 2 could become a cult favorite among both first-time pilots and seasoned YouTubers. Of course, the road ahead isn't completely turbulence-free. DJI's biggest challenge will be distinguishing the Neo 2 from its own Mini line, particularly the Mini 4K and Mini 5 Pro. Both already serve lightweight creators, and unless the Neo 2 offers something distinctly different, such as FPV maneuverability and indoor durability, it risks overlapping with its siblings. There's also the regulatory landscape to consider. While the sub-250 gram tag keeps the Neo 2 in a sweet legal zone for most countries, DJI continues to face scrutiny in the US, with ongoing national security and trade investigations casting a shadow over new drone releases. Technically, shrinking FPV-grade performance into such a tiny chassis isn't easy either. Managing heat, vibration, and image stability in a drone this small could push DJI's engineering limits. And if the company chooses to emphasize portability over sensor cooling, users might still face the same thermal limit warnings that haunted previous compact models. Finally, competition has quietly intensified. Companies like Beta FPV and Avatar Mini are nibbling at the same nush DJI wants to dominate. Affordable cinematic FPV drones for creators. The Neo 2 will have to prove it's not just another cute toy, but a legitimate creative tool worthy of the DJI badge. All credible signs point to a November 2025 launch. Aligning perfectly with DJI's typical pre-holiday timing and the Black Friday shopping wave. Multiple insiders have hinted that dealers are already preparing promotional materials, reinforcing the theory that the announcement date is indeed locked in. Pricing, as always, will be crucial. The original Neo launched at $199, making it one of DJI's most accessible products ever. The Neo 2 is expected to start around $229, with combo packs extending up to $529, depending on the configuration. If DJI bundles the motion controller and additional FPV accessories at a competitive rate, it could attract not just beginners, but also vloggers and indoor cinematographers looking for a lightweight creative setup. The pricing strategy will also reveal DJI's intent. Whether it wants the Neo 2 to be a mass market gateway drone or a niche FPV experiment for creators. So, is the November launch really fixed? All the breadcrumbs, FCC filings, dealer forecasts, and DJI's launch rhythm point in one direction. Yes, it's happening. But beyond the release date, the bigger story is what the Neo 2 represents. It's not just another refresh. It's DJY's quiet revolution in making cinematic FPV flying accessible to everyone. The idea of a drone that's small enough to fit in your palm, yet powerful enough to deliver pro-grade 4K video with precise tracking and FPV freedom is wildly appealing. It's the promise of creativity without barriers. And that's exactly the spirit DJI built its empire. Of course, the final verdict will depend on execution. If DJI can truly deliver the rumored upgrades, better battery life, improved sensor, reliable FPV control, and competitive pricing, then the DJI Neo 2 could become the hero of the 2025 drone season. What do you expect to see in the Neo 2? Share with us in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.